Look at me! If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. The bowling program that you're about to see is based on actual real life events that may prove too damning for politically correct audiences. If you're going to be offended by any of what you'll see shortly, then what the hell are you doing on my channel? Nonetheless, the following is purely for educational, informational, and comedic purposes only. In other words, don't be a stupid shillery, okay? Be a trumpeter. <laughs> Three hours later. Shut the f up! Dumber and dumber and dumber every single day. The federal court has demanded that a World War II monument, or actually no, a World War I monument, be taken down. A World War I monument. The Great War before the greatest war that would happen two decades after ladies and gentlemen this is what happens when you elect a bunch of terrorists to assume office in Washington District of Columbia we had 207 years to somehow learn from the mistake we made when we voted a genocidal maniac to the presidency. But did we learn? Did we listen? Hell no we didn't, of course not. And that's why I say that America is without question the dumbest, most misinformed, and most corrupted nation of the nearly 215 across seven continents, or continents, I should say, that make up this, our beloved Mother Earth. If we amend the Constitution to get rid of this absolute farce that is Jacksonianism, and restore the integrity that once was when Thomas Jefferson took good care of this nation in the early 19th century, then we might, and a very big one at that, be able to get rid of the scum lords and criminals that now run our nation and have been for decades. Meanwhile, and this is important, and you guys better listen to this. Meanwhile, Trump is the furthest thing from a politician that logic can concede. And he became POTUS two years ago in his very first run for office. Actually, hell, by this point, it's more like two and a half years ago. Why was Trump elected in November of 2016? Because there were some 63 million of us that agreed that having a marionette on a string for POTUS was never going to work, would never work, and wasn't working anyway. And was about as useful as an elevator in an outhouse.
ever since that night. The entire mainstream media, all of Hollywood, the entire deep state, the entirety of academia and its so-called education system, which it's not by the way, it's the furthest thing from that, that is now reduced to shreds by Rothschild and the dynasty thanks to treasonous offenses made by Jackson, Grant, Cleveland, Wilson, FDR, Bush's father and son, and the illegal immigrant scumfuck known as Barry Satoro, pseudonym Barack Obama. In other words, the entirety of the unconstitutional brigade that has been killing the foundation of a nation founded by the American Indians thousands of years before, prior to being rebranded by a bunch of colonists who always, almost always never got along, but agreed on certain things needing to be done, has done nothing! But everything possible to completely erase the history of the indigenous and that of the colonists who made America into what it is. Destroying, in every sense, America's last remaining foundations for as long as the Civil War was long rumored to have ended in 1865. Speaking of which, the Civil War never really ended. It's been going on for nearly 16 decades, and we're all, for better or worse, blind to it in some form or fashion. People, my fellow Americans, my fellow friends, indigenous and immigrants alike and I'm talking about the legal kind I'm not talking about the illegal kind that invade here to steal our crap from us there's no other way to say it all right America is not dying it's just dead and it has been dead for over two centuries. There is absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing, that any one of us can do to save it individually, meaning on our own. However, should we choose for once to get our heads right out of our anuses long enough to see the very problem that stands in front of us, we can become the solution to this insoluble problem by going to the polls next year under one united front as a collective whole, as a group. Not as individuals, but as a collective group and voting out unanimously every single treasonous senator and hopeless falsehood giving pretender that is just as is just as responsible I can't fucking speak straight that is just as responsible for the death of this nation as we ourselves are we must band together as our life depends on it. And if anyone else tells you differently, that someone is very clearly, very obviously lying to you. And you know it. And you have to let that on. And realize the solution. Destroy and obliterate completely the virus of the Jacksonian deceived galvanize and bring back to life from its 207 year old slumber the long aborted and ignored antidote of Jeffersonian justice and boycott all 
things, mainstream media, except for your local news. Because God knows that the local news is the only news that you can trust, but that will slowly go away very, very soon. So at some point, you're going to have to abandon that as well, completely. So that way, we can rest easier at night, knowing that we have done what was truly right. Heed the warning of George Washington's 1796 farewell address. This will be our last vestige for a constitutional restoration, and your heeding of this warning will save yourselves, your families, your pets, and the whole of humanity and all life on earth from a perfectly avoidable mass suicide. Everything George Washington, the original George W. in 1796 said is coming absolutely true today. In fact, it is merely prophecy. Now that I look back on it, everything George Washington said in 1796 was prophecy. Biblical level prophecy. You cannot write this, you cannot script this for any TV show or any movie. It writes itself, it explains itself, and it shows itself to you, the people. Which is why we are the fourth branch of government that nobody ever talks about. So if you want to have a planet to call home in a generation or two, you had better get off of your asses, go out, and make it happen. No excuses whatsoever. There will most likely never be another second chance after this one and there will be no more second chances to come after this one if we don't take full advantage of it we have one last chance do your part make it happen and save this planet from a death by humanity. Please, for the love of God, make it happen! And now, we move on to something else. Pingers of the Week. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Venezuela is wanting to wage war against the US? What? Ah! <laughs> I swear to Christ, man. <laughs> if that. Ah! <laughs> I swear to God, this is a. This has to be a joke. This is gonna be a fucking joke, man. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, Venezuela is warning the U.S. that they will fight against America. <laughs> Little tiny Venezuela that turned their country into shite when they elected some guy named Robert Maduro. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> My God, 
God, can you, could you possibly write a better script than that? I mean, the story practically writes itself. America wins. America wins. Oh, my God. Hey, I'm going to go to America. Because my country has been removed to shed because I voted for a bunch of broken reasons. We're made again. Yeah, I'm going to go to America. No. No. Absolutely no. The answer is no. The answer is no. The answer is no. Venezuela has been reducing itself to shit since the late 1940s, since after World War II, which is still going on, by the way! It never ended! And yet they want to wage war on us? They, Venezuela, wants to wage war on us? Because their country is full of crap? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a cleanup on Isle Venezuela. Ladies and gentlemen, clean up on Isle Venezuela. Oh. You know? Might as well just... You know? Fucking hell. I mean, it's, it's, it's literally... I don't know what to fucking say! This is so funny to me, man! Why?! Just why are you waging war on us, Venezuela?! You fucked your own government us, now you wanna fuck our government too?! You fucked your own government up, you won't fix it, now you're invading here to America to fuck our government up! How can you fuck up our own government if we're already doing a perfect job at it ourselves?! Oh my god! Right? Oh... Man... <laughs> This is a fucking joke, man. This, this is absolutely retarded. I, I can't. <laughs> let's fucking move on. I'm, I'm done with this topic. Let's, let's move to something that's more worth my time. This is clearly not worth my time. Why in the fucking hell I wasted five minutes of my time reviewing this? I have no fucking idea. Next freaking topic, please. I don't get money from Wall Street, I can tell you that. Wall Street donations to Clinton campaign. 17.2 million dollars from security investment industry since April of 2015. You motherfucker! The Clintons, a family who has never picked a single crop, made one widget or produced anything of value for society is worth over 200 million dollars! Harry Truman, an honest public servant, cannot become rich in politics. You're damn right! <laughs> Bullshit! Do you erase Obama's legacy? Simple. It's in the toilet, so it makes perfect sense to flush it, right? There you go. Simple as that. I would like to prove to you that I am not a Jew. I am a fucking Nazi. And I am a socialist, Nazi, communist, Luciferian running for president of the United States of America. If you get my vote, I will properly explain to you socialism exactly as you would want it. The fuck off. Oh. Bernie 
Sanders is running for president again! Yeah! <laughs> that poor old bastard doesn't know when to quit, does he? I swear to God. Oh. You think he would learn from the last time he got fucked? In 2016. Oh, but Hillary Clinton's. Yeah, I rigged the primaries against you. But here, let me buy you a private check with Saudi's dirty money. Oh my God, man. This is so ridiculous. I have just hit the fucking gold mine with these with these pictures. Look at these pictures. <laughs> I can't even, man. This is so fucking dumb, man. This this guy, how old is this guy? 77? He might as well be older than Methuselah at this point. I mean, Bernie friggin' Sanders, right? Running once again! For the presidency of the United States of America! Oh, say can you not see? Your fucking idiots are too dumb to think for themselves. Of course they would vote for you because they don't know any better! You fucking retard! <sighs> This is specifically why I created Spot the Liberal, ladies and gentlemen. I created this web show, the first of many that I've created, especially for my Skull Media Enterprises franchise, to show you all that you should fear stupid people in large groups. This is just one of those reasons. Another being, and, and by the way, I'm just noting this verbatim. Not to include the entire Clinton family, Hillary, Bill, Chelsea, Mark, and now George Soros, former Nazi general supervisor to Adolf Hitler! That's not including the entire Democratic Party, half of the Republican Party, but God knows you have to vote straight Republican, because it's the only choice that you have! A vote for a Democrat is not a choice! Ladies and gentlemen, this guy will never know when to quit, and he, like John McCain, will kill himself trying. And he is so desperate to try over and over and over and over and over again. For the love of fuck, stop! Buddy Sanders, you're killing yourself! Stop! But he doesn't know how, and that's the problem. Ugh. Andrew Jackson is bearing a shit-eating grin in his lonely, masturbating grave right now. And I can almost bet you that his corpse is molesting Satan's wife at this very moment. People, if you had any idea what this man was all about, you would have never allowed yourself to vote for this absolute, complete, Dementia suffering Alzheimer's patient of a human being. Do you understand? This is why America died in 1812. And it will never come back to life unless we get rid of these freaking assholes. I am dead serious, people. I am dead freaking serious.
But most of you people will just say, Oh, what they said is not true. Ah, they said nothing. I'm just fucking it. I didn't tell you yet. Hillary Clinton, Malcolm Beck. No. No. Absolutely fucking no. A politician is no longer the answer in this country. It is an actual human being. Someone that's willing to fight for you. If you can't elect someone who's fighting for you, you should move to a Venezuela, an Iran, a Syria, a fucking Afghanistan. Why the fuck are you even allowed to breathe? Because your parents made the mistake of conceiving you. You fucking idiots. I guarantee you these are the same people that voted for Hillary Clinton in 2016. I guarantee you. And there were a hell of a lot less than 65 million. In fact, 15 of those million people were either illegal immigrants or dead. Or did not exist at all. Guarantee it. I guarantee it. And that's okay. Because it's all going to come back to you. And you're going to realize the mistake you made. And you're going to drown in it. You morons. Moronica for Americans. Or should I say, Moronica for morons! Because only in America can you be a fucking moron! God, I love... I... It's good that I'm getting all this out of my chest now, because why, why else would I want to get off my chest all this information? Oh my god, people. And what about Ilhan Omar, right? The cabin in the woods wannabe who illegally immigrated to this country from this shithole known as Somalia. Let, let's get to her real quick, white. Right? Let's get to her. You're a piece of shit. Speaking of the big jackass and the tiny, tiny house. Ilhan Omar, the absolute terroristic Muslim sisterhood shitbag that she is, and you're finally starting to wake up, Minnesota. After all these years, you are finally waking up. The fuck is wrong with you people? You elected someone who illegally immigrated here from a terroristic-bound Somalia overrun by pirates and immigrant terrorists and invaders who, like all the other countries minus America, have been met with the exact same fate. Death by Rothschild. Death by Rothschild. Death by Rothschild. Death by Rothschild. You fucking idiots. Ladies and gentlemen, I need to make something extremely clear to you all so that you people can understand what I am saying. Ladies and gentlemen, the one that you elected is actually an invading illegal immigrant who's sleeping in bed with Louis Farrakhan and one of his thousands upon thousands of illegal immigrant wives, not excluding Ocasio-Cortez, who, by the way, is a member of the United States legally because Puerto Rico is a part of the United States and has been for over a century. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you elect a Kenyan Muslim terrorist jihadist into the White House in Barack Obama, a serial rapist and pedophilic liar 
in William Jefferson Bill Clinton, or as I like to call him, the $3 bill, because he's gay as fuck, a con man sellout named Ulysses S. Grant, who sold this country to Jacob Rothschild and Dynasty, as they are now known, in that infamous, god-awful, 1871 DC Crap Organic Act, and a supreme living jackass that should have been a centaur, but had to be given the absolute curse of being a human being in Andrew Jackson. And you wonder why we refuse to listen to God. Because we won't learn from history! We will not learn from fucking history! You people in Minnesota elected a terrorist, illegal immigrant from Somalia into Congress, knowing that she was a part of ISIS and Al-Qaeda and the Taliban and the Muslim Brotherhood and Louis Farrakhan's so-called brigade of black Islamic statesmen coming bad shit terrorists. For what? What was it fucking worth? The answer is nada. Zero. Focus. Zilch. Zilch. Nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. And you people deserve everything that you fucking get. The same way everyone in California deserves what they get because they elected a fucking man synonymous with rat shit to be their governor for the last 10 fucking years. The same way New York deserves everything bad that it gets for electing a pisswad like Andrew Cuomo or Bill de Blasio. At least Rudy Giuliani was a half decent human being who tried his best to save New York from what it had not only become, but that ultimately failed. And do you know, ladies and gentlemen, why that failed? Because the history of humanity can be summed up in three words. It repeats itself. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very sorry to have to tell you this, and I'm not nearly as happy at telling you this than you are hearing this, but you need to have these fucking truths shoved down your fucking throat and out of your fucking anus because you refuse to listen to people who are actually right for once. An Aristotle, a Tacitus, a Sophocles, a Plato, a John Fitzgerald Kennedy Sr. You refuse to listen to these people. For what? Do I need to show you the entirety of my recital of Washington's 1796 farewell address in its entirety? It's about 30 minutes long. But I insist that you redirect yourself to Jefferson's mistake. My latest out of this moment shockumentary. I have a fifth one that I have finished. I will give you the title of it now, official. My next shockumentary is on the mainstream media, and it is entitled, The Politically Correct Police, or rather, The Political Correctness Police Have Killed Television. Because you won't fucking listen to history! It is so frustrating. For you people to have to constantly screw yourselves. Oh, oh, up the fucking ass without any loot. You do this every single day for 207 years. Are you not tired of it? You have to be tired of it. Guys, listen to me. Listen to my voice as I am speaking to you. It's like I am reenacting Moses giving the Ten Commandments on the top of a mountain, 
at the Sermon on the Mount, when God etched these Ten Commandments in stone through his lightning rods and gave it to him from high above with his mighty large hands, his ancestral, spiritual, ancestral, celestial hands to deliver these Ten Commandments to the people. But what was it all worth if so many thousands of years later it comes to pass that absolutely nothing has changed in how humanity functions or how humanity refuses to function? People, do not tell me that I am shitting on you guys or that I disrespect you because I don't do either. I am trying to help you guys. And I respect you enough to give you this help. All you have to do is take it. It is so simple. So ladies and gentlemen, until we meet again on this spot, the liberal pagan moon night, or whatever religion you want to call it, I will see you in cyberspace. And to all of you, good day, good night, and big balls. Because you're gonna have big balls to suck Henry Clinton! If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like what you see, don't watch my channel. If you don't like it, don't watch. If you like it, do watch. It's that simple. 50-50.